This is a student curatorial project that I have been working on for the past nine months. It was a really great learning experience understanding how an exhibition really comes together. We decided to uh, create an app and uh, create sort of a virtual tour guide that would take people through the exhibition. Everybody has smartphones now, so it seems natural to incorporate them in an exhibition like this. Like muscles and tendons curl, peeled back from the bone. For years we've been thinking about this kind of interactive project. This one came through beautifully and the results are splendid. Four fearsome horsemen ride upon the earth in the end times. As you can see on the walls, there's very little text. Most of the text, most of the information is actually in the app itself that you'll listen to as you're looking at the images. This view of the skeletal system appeared in Dr. Andrew Combs' 1836 book. Apps are expanding continually in terms of how they engage audiences. I really find the Hogarth um, wonderful and um, it's, it's funny and we're led to the humor by the voice of the narrator and I think that that's something that's really hard to convey in text. A company of 18th century doctors huddle within the borders of the escutcheon. Three illegitimate doctors dressed in absurd costumes consult in the upper portion, usually reserved as a place of honor. The twelve certified physicians below practice a diagnostic technique of examining and tasting urine, emphasizing the frequency of injury and death caused by the questionable and often superstitious medical practices of the time. When you have an app, you can decide what your journey through the exhibit is going to be. Um, and then, we, as you find each site, we find people actually stand in front of objects longer, spend more time thinking about them than they would if there was, for instance, just wall text. People learn in all different kinds of ways. We are engaging those people with works of art in a more sort of sustained way. First direct your attention to print one in this series by Stefan Egler. We're very thrilled with these results and I think it'll lay the ground for future projects.